now we will check the interaction of these five conformation that how many hydrogen bonds it made with the active site residues so go to the sequence and this time we will delete the already existed peptide like inhibitor so click this and then click delete and now we will insert our ligand that we have just docked so how to do it click on file and then click browse so this is the force one and it comes here now this is force two this is three this is four and this is five first i will check the interaction of the force one so i will go to compute and then ligand interaction i will make it a little bigger i will minimize this one okay so this ligand make hydrogen bond with histidine 164 and and this is the explanation for the different interaction like this green color like this blue is backbone acceptor or backbone donor and this is the hydrogen bond and what does this h and this benzene ring mean it means arene hydrogen interaction now check now minimize this one and go to browse and this one and now click on this to change it to force 2 and now check its interaction so go to this interaction window and click apply because i have changed it to force 2 here now click apply to load the interaction of force 2 now this is the interaction of force 2 and if you change it to 3 and then click apply so this is the interaction of post 3 and if i want to change it to 4 then click apply this is the interaction of fourth post now change it to 5 and apply now this is the interaction of pep post and then how to save this picture then click on export this is the 300 dpi and this is the dimension you can change it and then this is the file name i will give it that force pipth.png you can save in different formats from here png jpg eps so i will choose png and then export go to the folder and this is the picture i have just made this is the 2d interaction of this ligand with the active side to draw 3d interaction you should watch the lecture 2 in which we have used pymol and i will also make a video for this protein using pymol to draw the 3d structure so it's enough for today and wait for my next lecture. Thank you.